I think the pandemic has been a slowdown across everything. And uh, uh, but my, I'll come back to this. My view is it's a short term, temporary slowdown. The slowdown is actually most uh, uh, visible in the power and energy sector. So you know when you're going into winter and you figure people are not going to have energy for heating and food and electricity, then you start rethinking your posture on coal versus other uh, fossil fuel energy. Germany's opening up coal plants. The UK is opening up coal plants. People are figuring alternative sources of gas. And you can understand why that is. Because you know when you figure people's lives are at stake, you, know, you need to get that transition right. Uh, however, I also find that if you think medium term, even five years out, uh, the pandemic and its consequences will accelerate the transition. And the reason they will do that is, number one, uh, geopolitical considerations are beginning to get more apparent, energy security. So if you're completely reliant on a single nation state to provide your energy, if you're completely reliant on a single source of fuel, that's not necessarily very good if you're a smart politician thinking out uh, into the future. So my own sense is that if you think five years, the investment going into renewables, the investment going into alternative diversified sources of energy, that's going to double. And so I think you're going to be sort of a, a variance from the mean, from a standard standpoint. But I think it'll come back, and it'll come back um, uh, in spades.